Efforts continue in Baltimore after a container ship lost power and crashed into the Francis Scott Key Bridge. Massive cranes were brought in and crews are working around the clock to help remove the wreckage and reopen the waterway, which is critical to the economy. ABC's Chuck Syverson has the latest. The first sections of debris from the Francis Scott Key Bridge are now being removed five days after that container ship lost power and collided with the bridge, sending concrete and metal plunging into the water. The north sections of the Key Bridge are going to be cut up and removed. This will eventually allow us to open up a temporary restricted channel that will help us to get more vessels in the water around the site of the collapse. The governor acknowledging the impact this is having on the economy. And the nation's economy and the nation's workers are relying on us to move quickly and to move together. But admitting the recovery is going to take time. And we will continue to marshal people and resources to ensure that we have everything that we need to do this work as safely, as efficiently, and as effectively as possible. President Biden approved Maryland's request for a federal disaster declaration, which will provide help for small businesses in the area. Because of this declaration, Small businesses affected by the disaster can now apply for disaster loan assistance from the federal government. Larry DeSantis traveled across the bridge every day. He says he was one of the last to drive over before the collapse, telling ABC's Jay O'Brien he didn't hear the bridge fall, but says he noticed one thing, no one was driving behind him. It was real, it was an eerie feeling because I, there was no vehicles at all. Mm -hmm. And normally that time of the morning, even that time of the morning, because it's right there at Amazon, you'll see 20, 30 tractor trailers coming and going. And you there saw was nothing. On nothing. The Meanwhile, officials say they are continuing to focus on recovering the bodies of the four missing construction workers. To all people who have offered prayers, I ask this, keep offering them. The families, first responders, they will continue to need them. Chuck Sievertson, ABC News, New York.